Hey everyone, Kenny here. I'm gonna, I'm here to do a review of the 1960 Alfred Hitchcock thriller Psycho. And I, first off, I have to say that I, I've, when I got this, that was the, and watched it, that was the first time I ever saw this. And, I have to say now that this is one of my all-time favorite thrillers. It's a horror, but it's not really scary scary to me. It's a thriller and a mystery at the same time. Uh, uh, and of course, most of us know about that famous shower scene where uh, that Norman Bates, dressed up as a woman, stabs um, Janet Lee's character in the shower. What's her name? I just say her name, but it stabs Janet Lee to death. And I have to say, it's not really scary, but it is a, a shocking scene. And the music is perfect. Uh, especially the music that's uh, playing during the opening credit sequence. And also, the way the credits were created in this at the beginning were fantastic. You have to think that was before all the digital stuff we have now. So they probably had uh, character generators back then, which we still use now, but at that time, that was probably the only thing they could use to do titles with, a character generator. They had lines intersecting each other, along with words kind of having lines going in and out, so it poke in and out. That was very well done. And the writing is also what it is the uh, the strong point of uh, Psycho. I think this has some of the best writing out of uh, Alfred Hitchcock's black and white uh, movie career. Uh, the acting was also very, very well done, also spot on. It looked like they weren't really acting, they were being themselves, which is what I love about movies back at, at this time. They didn't have to try and pretend to be someone else, they just acted, they were themselves acting as another person. It wasn't forced. It was easy going for them. Um, and the mystery in this was also very well crafted. It was a uh, it all it all started at the very opening scene in uh when Janet Lee's character walks into the office for her for a normal day of work and some uh, I don't know what he was but some guy draw, uh, gave her uh, money to and her boss said for her to put it in the bank and And then uh, she drives, uh, tries to go on a vacation. Or she has a headache. She wants to try and go home, but instead she packs to leave for a vacation. But she doesn't drive very far in the rain. She goes to the Bates Motel, and that's where the scene of the crime is. Uh, the infamous shower scene Norman Bates 
Anthony Perkins. I don't know if he's still alive, but that is probably his best character ever. And I wonder if, uh, yeah, I wonder if he could wasn't able to top this role since after Psycho. But uh, I would suggest checking this out. Very well done, even in the. Um, the atmosphere of it was also kind of chill, chilling, and the uh, exteriors were built very well. And I kind of seems like that was uh, uh, around that time they were using rear, what's it called, rear projection photography rear projection uh, and they may have done a little bit of matte painting but uh, I would suggest checking it out if any of you haven't I'm not trying to go into spoilers but uh, I love it now. Hope after after the first time I saw it, I'm hooked to it. I love it. That's my one of my f all time favorite thrillers. So, as I already said, so it has yeah Janet Lee, Anthony Perkins, Vera Miles, John Gavin. And based on a novel by Robert Block, B L O C H. And this is, it's, I also got it on a really good DVD, the Universal Legacy Series 2 disc special edition. This has a future commentary with Stephen Ribello, author of Alfred Hitchcock and The Making of Psycho. Newsreel footage, the release of Psycho. I had the sh the shower scene, and then uh, the shower scene storyboards by Rizal Bass. The Psycho archives, posters and Psycho ads, lobby cards, behind the scenes and production photographs, production notes, theatrical trailers, and uh, that's on disc one, disc two. The Making of Psycho and the Master's Shadow Hitchcock's Legacy. Hitchcock, Truffaut, Interview Excerpts. Alfred Hitchcock presents Lamb to the Slaughter. And this is also digitally remastered and in widescreen 1851 aspect ratio. I love it. I loved it. So, if I would rate it, it would be um, five out of five. Yeah, five out of five. Bye.